Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what I believe is my second away day of the season. We're heading to Huddersfield today. Another Sunday game. And we've got another Sunday game next week as well at home. But this one on Sky. Not won an away game on Sky since New Year's Day 2016. So that bodes well. But I'm confident we had a good win in the week. And I think Andy Dawson has got the boys playing for him. It's about half past nine now. Going to head down to Huddersfield. It's about an hour and 15 minutes uh, down to the stadium. So, yeah, should be good. Uh, I'll, I'll put the teams on screen and I'll see you in uh, the John Smith Stadium. Come on, City! About 15 in and City have made a decent start to the game. Huddersfield have had a couple of half chances. Pelka had an effort which went over and Ryan Longman has just had a shot that went over the top of Lee Nichols' goal as well. But we've got a decent amount of the ball in the midfield. Pelka is having a lot of the ball and doing a bit of the running which is nice. And Baxter's made a decent save. Decent start. Second City corner of the game, about say, 22 minutes in, the clock's gone off the screen. Elder will take, we had some good joy from Elder corners in the last game. Hit by Pelkas! It's another corner. Sorber Thomas. Once again, me and Marcus are rating for each other. Thomas, ball in. Ooh, ooh, what's happened there? Nice. Second time taking this one because the first one, Alfie Jones, was a bit, uh, a bit of scrappling. Tol Sober Thomas ball in. We'll stick with this one. Ball in. Oh no. Unfortunate, but we came back in the last game. Why can't we do it again? That's sort of 30 seconds and a half now. Ball over by Coyle to Longman. Oh, Longman! Oh my god! This will be it. Half time. Not too great that. Callum Elder's played well. Other than that, nothing really. One change at the break. Callum Elder, who's been the best player for us, has been brought off and Cynic is on. Copyrighting music is over. We're underway again. There, there we go, and it's free kick for Huddersfield. Slater brought someone down. Wasn't a foul in my opinion, but we've got the free kick nonetheless. 
Huddersfield. What's that, about 25 yards, 30 yards from goal. Three man wall for City. Taken by Sober Thomas. Header on. Ball back in. That's two. Stupid defending yet again. Three city changes. Hellcast coming off for Woods. Ryan Woods comes on. Greg Doherty. And John Michael Serry are next to come on. Tupan makes way for Serry. And then Greg Doherty will come on for. Regan Slater, but on Slater. We are very lucky, Huddersfield has had three or four cleared off the line and, the, and one's come off the post. Wow. Move seats for that, so we've had 25 minutes of nothing really. Doherty's just shot and Nichols has saved it, about it really. And final City sub on the 85th minute, Tyler Smith on for Ryan Longman and he's just been jeered off the pitch. It's coming on. Chance of you're not fit to wear the shirt, poor guy. Just boring on the 90th minute now, Cyrus Christie's trying a long throw in when we've got neither of the centre backs in the box. Ladies and gents, back home, and I haven't seen how many minutes of footage I've got yet, but what I do know is that it was a pretty dreadful game. So I'm just going to sit and sort of say what I think, and if it goes over what I usually have my match day vlogs as, so be it. Um, first of all, in the first half, Elder was incredible. Um, he must have, it must be a knock as to why he's gone off. And, well, people criticising Louis Coyle, he was the only one who tried to stop that cross. And it was just unfortunate that it w went past Baxter. So, yeah, that was fun. Um, then, second half was just dull. It was really dull. Seri came on, had a decent game, but why... I mean, we'll get on to Longman in a second. Um, but why he kept... Longman on and took Pelkas off. I don't understand. Um, Doherty re-energised the team. With Slater suspended for next week for an accumulation of yellow cards, he has to start, does Doherty. Um, and then Longman, look, the chance wasn't a great miss. It was... You know, he really should have scored that. I've watched my camera work back, by the way. I'm sorry, but I, I, I lean back like that and my arm went with me. So, yeah, you don't really see what happens. But he, he sort of, yeah, I'm pretty sure he can get the gist. He just puts it wide. And, oh, my God. It's agonising. It's harder to miss than score. But then, when he came off, people jeering at him. Um, cheering the fact he's going off. Yeah, I think that's a little bit far. That's that's top class support from us today. Well, from a section of our fans. And if you're part of that group, look, you just don't think about it for goodness sake. And, well, yeah. Not really much else to add. Um, Sinnott looked alright again but had nothing we were just playing as individuals not as a team that's the problem that's the problem it, we're a team of good individuals but they can't play together they don't know how to play together and I think uh, I think at the moment it's been clear that Xavier Simon's loan has been wasted because 
You know, he, he can fill in at centre back. He can fill in in holding midfield. He's not getting the chance. I think Sean McLaughlin should be given a chance now. I think defensively, I think Greaves is the best centre back we've got, but. He started the season slowly, as have the entire defence. Brandon Fleming's on his way back. And for me, you change that whole back four for next week. For me, you play Christie at right back. If Fleming's fit, you play him at left back. If not, Elder's there, which is fine because he had a good game today. But then your two centre-backs, I'd put McLaughlin and Xavier Simons in there. Harsh and Alfie Jones, because he was decent on Wednesday and he had, another, and he had a half-solid game today. But it's just what, it's what I'd do. But I think it's pretty clear that we miss Syed Manesh. We miss Tete. We miss Fleming. And even though we've not seen him yet, I think Salah could be a real asset to this team. I think he could be. I think Salah Rouladam Hand could be a real asset to this team. But time will tell. Thank you for watching. I've waffled along for four minutes there. See you later. That was awful.